Welcome everybody to Analyze This Season 2. It's Tunji Andrews, uh, economist, uh, analyst, general ITK. Hi everyone, my name is Honey Ogundei. I'm a fashion technology entrepreneur and the CEO and founder of Fashpa.com. In season one, there were a lot of doom and gloom stories. I mean, there was the recession, there was the dollar prices, there was inflation, people losing their jobs, you know, businesses closing down. It was generally that, you know, time of doom and gloom. People were scared. People didn't know what they were supposed to expect. Um, it's not so much that way anymore, right? Um, there's been some sort of stability in the, in the economy. Prices are not going as high as they used to. They're still high, but they're not going as high as they used to at some point. Inflation has started to trend downwards. The dollar prices have started to trend downwards. GDP figures are starting to go back upwards. So it's kind of a reversal of what we saw, but it's still not yet where we expect it to be, right? Um, I have a feeling that businesses are starting to feel this impact too. I don't know. We'll ask you um, when we go out for the Vox Pop. But honey, um, you also a business person. How's it been? I mean, I think from a business perspective, we're still seeing that things are tough. I mean, I think for sure things are starting to get easier, but... Um, I don't know how much of that is because things are actually getting easier or we're just getting used to it. Oh, we've so, gotten used to it. Exactly. And you know, mm -hmm. Nigerians, we're very good at just starting yeah. to get used to things and yeah, managing that, that sense, and hopping yeah. along. Mm -hmm. But if you look at it, a lot of big businesses are still continue to struggle. Yeah. And even small enterprises, um, uh, uh, small businesses will still find it hard to be able to survive. So I think in my business, what we've done is try to look at ways to localize and try to do things in Naira where possible and try to stop our dependency on things like the dollar. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But overall, I would still say that things are definitely still tough. I mean, if you, if you look at uh, the stock exchange and the re results that have been mm -hmm. coming out recently, those companies that, you know, have a lot of foreign input to their final products, you know, they, they've yeah. started doing a little bit better because they've now started to look inwards. They've started yeah. to source palm oil from Nigeria. They've started to source... Um, um, pepper from Nigeria. What their ingredients basically are, they started to source it. So they found some sort of stability and they're doing a bit better. So for the bigger businesses, it's, it's not as bad, right? It's not as bad. But for the guys at the bottom, um, yes, it's still, it's still a bit tough. It's still a bit tough. Yeah, I would even say that it's just generally tough for everyone. We had yeah. that big case of a telecom company recently, and that was another dollar-dependent issue. Yeah. So, I mean, I think that it's still tough for everybody. I mean, what, especially with the dollar now, the dollar is coming down. But the thing about Nigeria is that things are still as expensive, even though, you know, we're seeing that happen. It's, it's a knock-on effect. It, it took a while for it to get bad, right? Mm -hmm. And it's going to... It's going to take a while for it to get better. I'm definitely here for the good times of the dollar situation because I tell you, last year was a horrible year. Um, especially like when we now look at the dollar, but I'm now used to like keeping my costs in Naira where possible. So I do that in my personal life. I'm wearing Nigerian where I can. I'm buying Nigerian. Even in my business as well, I'm manufacturing instead of, you know, buying mm. and, you know, mm. you know, selling. That makes sense. Just because, you know, that time when the dollar was really horrible, I just couldn't do it anymore. Yeah. So I think that's one of the advantages that we're seeing from the bad times that I'm really seeing businesses start to build businesses based on locally sourcing in Nigeria, uh, targeting the local audience, which I think is great. So even though the recession was like horrible, I don't wish it on my enemy. Yeah. Um, I'm, but, I'm seeing yeah. that there were some good things that good came, things out, that of came out of it. Yeah. But, but some of the good news coming out from the CBN is that the CBN has started to create um, new windows to be able to um, basically give anyone that needs dollars. Uh, so there's uh, PTA windows, there's BTA windows, that, and that's basically for travel. Um, if you have um, school fees needs, um, um, health, yeah. basically, if you have hospital needs abroad. So basically, the CBN has created windows for you to be able to access dollars. So there's you getting BTAs, uh, PTA, that's basically for travel. And um, uh, school fees, um, medical uh, needs, the CBN has created windows for all of those. Now, but the most important is the foreign investor window, which is really, I'll say 80% of the challenge at the first in the first place, where foreign investors felt they couldn't come in and go out of Nigeria at a fair value of their foreign exchange to the Naira when they are leaving, when they are going out. But the new foreign investor window has created a scenario where they can come in, go out at a fair value. And we said to see them come back in. Now, if you uh, are close to the news, you'll be hearing things about the Nigerian Stock Exchange. It's starting to trend slightly upwards. So that's good news, right? That's good news for all of us investors, businesses. There's some sort of good news. So it shows that, I mean, some sort of improvement in the economy, at least. Uh, 
Yeah, I don't know about that. All this talk of PTA, PTA, stock exchange, it feels like rich man problems. Like for majority of people, including myself, things mm. are just generally still super tough. Mm. I mean, let's take it out on the streets. Like, what do you guys think? Yeah. Are things getting better? I don't think so. Why? Because uh, you can see that uh, uh, suffering is everywhere. It's everywhere. You understand? Even when you, when you go to, when you go on the street, when you go everywhere, suffering is everywhere. Things, things are not getting better at all. It's getting worse. Sir. Cause even if you have like you have 500 naira, you cannot as in you can 500 naira cannot feed you for a day. Cause you have to buy food, you buy water, buy anything that you want to eat. It's not getting it's not getting better. Things are getting better. Normally it's not like this before. We are just managing in, in Lagos State here, yeah, but these days. Things are getting better. No, we are not. Because of things we are facing in this country. We are not getting better. It's getting worse like, every day by day. Since it's getting better now in Nigeria, financially, I think somehow it's flowing now. You know, it's a gradual thing. It's not getting anything better. Nothing is getting better. It's getting worse. When I was in a primary school, Nigeria was like this. Buhari is my president. Now my daughter is here in primary school. The Nigeria is getting worse than like before. If government can help reduce the price of fuel, that will make the economy at least everything normal. So for now, things are not getting better. What they can do to fix it right now is they should just review their policies and again, they should look at the ministers. The ones that are not doing better, they should just take them out and bring in the good ones. That's the only thing they can do. I'll put, I'll put the blame squarely on our leaders. The followers are there. Nigerians are ready for... Nigeria don't care who is their ruler. As long as you provide them with the basic amenities of life, there's good road, there's water, there's housing, then people, people don't care who is ruling Nigeria. Let's, let, let Nigeria you to rule the country because the elders have nothing to offer us. What a wawo. As in the pain is deep, as in the anger on the streets is real. I, I, I feel you guys as in it's, it's been real for everybody in the economy. I, I work out a lot, you know, and um, I use supplements. And uh, I mean, the, the prices are, no, really, really, I must say this. The prices have really doubled, tripled even sometimes. So what we now do, which I'm not sure I should be saying this here, is say that it, um, Tell us. we now kind of wait till the goods get expired. And then we buy them for like, you know, 80% discount. It's, I'm not sure it's entirely safe. Don't do it at home. But I'm just telling you how we've now been able to, you know, manage the, the, yeah. I feel I've just judged myself. I feel like I don't even know what to say to you. <laughs> but I mean, I guess things are really tough. I've noticed even with supermarkets as well, that some people continue with selling, you know, things after the close by dates. But I haven't actually heard of anybody really taking it after that date, Tunji. Huh. But um, I guess everyone's finding a way to deal with this difficult economy. The price but why, why did you just make me feel bad right now? I don't know. I don't no, this, no, because this, I'm trying every, to be room everybody, with everybody. Everybody that bodybuilds knows this. It's a it's a general law. We all know we do it, right? We do, we know. No, do not include them in your fights. Yeah, stay by yourself. Anyways, I'm also I take um I used to I'm, I'm, I used to love. We're sausages. still on this supplement or oh, sausage stuff. Yeah, okay. I used to, don't don't hate. Sausage. I used to love sausages, and um it used to be four hundred naira for a can. It's now one thousand two hundred. Jesus. So my family has resorted to fish. <laughs> We're not doing that anymore. It's it's not it's not helping the pocket, you know. I know. I mean, personally, me, I was personally sad with Indomie because you know Indomie is my bay. And when that one, when the price it, went it, up, prices changed. Oh yes, from like one five a carton to like over two thousand. I almost like clutched my pearls in the supermarket. But I'm okay now, and I've just learned to go back to local things that we can find in the market that don't you come know, packaged. It, this it, is the thing. I think everybody has to find ways in which you, you know, if you're used to buying like imported things before, now you find the local version because every. It's not everything you can find local version. If you cannot of, find a local version, then yes, maybe that thing is yeah. not for you. Like mm. maybe before you used to like drinking imported juice. Like me, I like lemonade, but now I like water. Yeah. Pure yeah, water. That works. To be that precise. Works. Yeah. Anyways, the future still isn't as um I, I, I'm a bit worried about the future. What again about the future? No, seriously. Um crude oil prices as of today, we're talking about the fact that it's at par with our um crude oil benchmark for the 2017 budget. And if it dips any lower, that means the government will start to struggle to, you know, fund its budget. That means there's still a bit of a rocky patch ahead. And that goes all into 2018. So um, I'm just saying prepare. I'm not saying there's anything. Just prepare because 
um, businesses keep looking inwards, like you said. Yeah. You know, let's not, because hey, dollar now, 300, let's start going back, you know, to import it. You don't want to rush back and start buying stuff from abroad, you know. Chill, you know, just keep with the local stuff so that if there's any shock, which a lot of us are beginning to believe might be in 2018, it won't affect you. I, I mean, it's, it's just the reality of what's on ground. Yeah, trust me, I don't think anybody is rushing in no time. But I'd love to hear from you guys. What do you think? Are things getting better? Uh, you can reach me on at Honey Ogundei on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And you can also reach me at Tunji Andrews, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, everywhere. Correct. And at <laughs> Indani TV using the hashtag analyze this. Till next time, guys, um, keep analyzing this.